Greetings and welcome to Bay Bridge 360, where we show you how we're building the new San Francisco-Oakland Bay Bridge. In today's episode, we look at one of the most critical parts of the new suspension bridge, the main cable saddles. We're on the island of Hokkaido in Japan, in the historic seaport city of Mororan, the location of Japan Steelworks, where key elements of our bridge are being fabricated. In this episode, we're going to take a look at saddle casting. These are the pieces that allow the main cable of the self-anchored suspension bridge to be connected to the structure. Now, for the next six minutes, we're going to show you how that process is done. We're in the foundry building here at Japan Steelworks, where we've got a crew working on one of the molds for a saddle for our new self-anchored suspension bridge. This mold is actually made up of sand. And in a few days, we'll see them pour molten steel into this to make one of the critical parts for our new self-anchored suspension bridge. We're in the foundry building, pouring the steel for the saddles on our suspension bridge. Over 160 tons of molten metal will be poured today at temperatures greater than 1,600 degrees Celsius. Two ladles carry the molten steel. One holds up to 95 tons, the other 70 tons. During the most critical part of casting, steel is carefully poured into the mold. This process takes several minutes, with workers in protective clothing standing inches away from the molten steel to ensure it fills every corner of the mold. The cooling process is carefully controlled. Rice husks are placed on the poured steel to help slow the cool. After cooling for about a week and a half, the saddle is lifted from the mold by a gantry crane that carries it through the foundry shop. The large piece of steel you see moving behind me is part of a jacking saddle that will be placed on the self-anchored suspension bridge. Right now, that's 150 metric tons. After it's been broken out of its casting, it'll come down to about 60 metric tons. Excess sand and extra parts from the mold are cut off the saddle in a process called fettling. Blue paint marks sections of the saddle for machining. A milling machine takes a pass at machining the interior saddle surfaces to form precise grooves. As we near completion, you can see what the final geometry is going to look like for the cable saddles and how smooth the piece ultimately is. The saddle then heads back to the foundry for hand shaping and grinding of the exterior surfaces. The saddle is tested using ultrasonic technology to check for imperfections. Weld repairs are made to refine the saddle after ultrasonic testing. Structural welding attaches steel plates to the cast saddle section. The temperature of steel must be carefully controlled during the welding process. The entire saddle must be heated to ensure a strong weld. It takes up to four weeks for welding and attaching plates. Thanks for watching this episode of Bay Bridge 360, coming to you directly from Japan. We still have a lot more work to do on our bridge, so check back at this site for future episodes.